Okay, in this video we want to look at how to find the equation of a line if you're given a diagram. Uh, and it starts with, with uh, we know that the general equation of any line is y equals mx plus c, where our value m stands for the gradient, how steep the line is, and this value at the end, plus c, is our y-intercept, where the line crosses the y-axis. So we've got two examples here, uh, and you'll know then our axis, y is up, y-axis or x is across. So in these two diagrams, I know the y-axis is the one that goes up, y is up, x is across. So once we've got that, you can see here that, that uh, this line crosses the y-axis at the point 7. So it's quite easy to spot then that, that the value of c is 7. And then in this question, we're told the gradient is minus 2. So m is minus 2. So if we put that into y equals mx plus c, instead of m, we've got minus 2. So instead of mx, we've minus 2x. And instead of plus c, we have plus 7. And so we have the equation of that line. Same sort of thing down below here. Notice this time we're told that the gradient is a half. So I know that m, the gradient, is a half. And you can see from the graph here that, that it crosses the y-axis at minus 4. So in this case, c is negative 4. And again, let's put that into the equation. y equals mx plus c. Well, m is a half, so instead of mx, we have a half x. And instead of plus c, we have plus minus 4. And a plus and a minus together just stays minus 4. And so we've got the equations of those two lines just from knowing the gradient and where it crosses uh, the y-axis. But we could be asked something uh, a little trickier to find the equation of line just if you have a line drawn. And we're going to go about it in the same way in that we need y equals mx plus c, we need to find the gradient and we need to find the y-intercept. Again, in this uh, graph here, it's, it's nice and easy to see that there's where it crosses the y-axis. So c is equal to minus 5. But we also want to find the gradient. And we know that the gradient from a diagram is the rise over the run. So I've, I've picked two points here that I know are on the line. And I'm just going to join them up. And how far does it go across? One, two, three, four, five. So the run here is five. The rise, it goes up three and then up another seven. So the rise here is seven. So this time, rather than, than knowing the gradient, we're going to calculate the gradient. And the gradient is the rise over the run. So it should be 7, it's 10, uh, which is 10 over 5, which is 2. And now we know the gradient, we know the, the y-intercept, so we can write down the equation of that line. y equals, instead of mx, it's 2x. Instead of plus c, we've got what well, c is minus 5. So it's y equals 2x minus 5. Again, with this gradient, you say that it goes for every five across, it goes up 10, so the, the gradient is two. Or for every one across, it goes up two. Um, and we're going to do that with this, this one down here as well. This time we, we see that the y-intercept is, is five. So c equals five. Nice and easy to spot that. And again, I've just picked two points that I know, and I'm going to make a, a triangle, right angle triangle out of that. So my rise this time, just be careful, we're going down, so it's a negative rise. So it goes down by one, two, three. So my rise is minus three. My run, that's going across two, four, six. So it goes across six. And so the gradient is the rise over the run. How far up and down it goes, minus three, over how far across it goes, over six. Minus three-sixths is the same as minus a half. 
Now again, we know the gradient and we know the y-intercept. So y equals so many x plus c. Well, m here is minus a half. So y equals minus a half x. Our value of c is 5. It's positive 5. So it's plus 5. So that's when we're, where we, we're just given a graph. We could also be asked to find the equation of a line between two points. Now this one's relatively straightforward because there's a sort of um, a giveaway in, in, in the question itself. But we're gonna go about it in the same way. We need to find the gradient m and the y-intercept c. But here's the, the crux of this question. That zero one, if you were to plot that on a graph, zero one would be about there. It is on the y-axis. And zero one then is the y-intercept. My value of c here is one. Had it been zero minus two, then the y-intercept would have been minus two. But this only works because the x-coordinate is zero. And so it's on the y-axis. Any of these points here are all on the y-axis. So apart from that, we're, we're going to, to find the gradient. I'm going to do this quickly in two ways. First way is just to draw a wee sketch. And quite a lot of people like to do this. So we're going 0, 1 is here. 3 minus 5 is roughly about here. Okay, it's not drawn to scale. But so we've got... 3, this is at 1, this is minus 5. And if we do that, then we can, we can sort of work out the gradient using the rise over run again. And our rise, well, it's going down from 1 down to minus 5. So it's going down, so it's negative 6. Our run was going across from the y-axis from, from uh, x equals 0 to x equals 3. So the run is 3. And so the gradient m is rise over run, which is uh, minus 6 over 3, which is negative 2. The other way that, that we could find the gradient is if we know the gradient is the difference in the y-coordinates over the difference in the x-coordinates. And sometimes you'll see that written as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Uh, and all of the, these saying, okay, this is the y value from the first bracket, this is the y value from the second bracket. So in this case, if I wrote this, this would be x1, y1, and this would be x2, y2. x1 is 0, x2 is 3. y1 is 1, y2 is minus 5. And so we can fill this in, y2 minus 5, take away y1, so take away 1, divided by x2, which is 3, take away x1, which is 0. And we get minus 6 over 3, which is negative 2. So whether we do this by a quick sketch and using rise over run, or whether we do it by uh, using the coordinates, we still get the same gradient. And we still know the y-intercept is 1. So when we put this into our uh, final answer, y equals mx plus c, that becomes y equals, instead of m, we have minus 2. And instead of c, we have 1. So minus 2x plus 1.